when we first got to Juno, we got off the ship with the personal shopper group so that she was able to help us with any questions we may have had when we headed into the jewelry stores. Um, but once we were done kind of navigating that stuff, we decided to wander the whole port um, because we had some time. Our excursion wasn't going to be until about three o'clock in the afternoon. So we got off in the morning and had all morning that we could check out all the stores from the brochure that they give you at all the ports. The Red Dog Saloon, here we are, is extremely famous for their duck fart shot. And there it is, we had to do it, we were, it's that whole when in Rome thing, right? So you gotta do it. Um, if you don't book your excursions through Carnival, there were definitely some options here right at the port for you. We always book directly through Carnival. A, we know we're gonna get a fantastic trip. B, we know that if it's running late, the ship waits for you. Uh, this is Tracy's Crab Shack, as you can see that those were huge. There is also a beautiful tram that takes you right up the mountain. Way too high for me this time, maybe next time, we'll see. Uh, but here's the total for the tickets. It is an all day ride, so you can come and go as you please. And yes, we bought me jewelry. For the first time on a cruise, we were able to find a jewelry store, Diamonds International. Um, that was fantastic and actually listened to what we were looking for. So that brings me to our excursion of the day. We opted to do the gold panning uh, with the salmon bake. The salmon bake does come on its own or is connected with numerous other uh, starter activities. We decided the gold panning sounded like a lot of fun and it's not something we can usually do at home. Um, so here we go. We are off. It was a comfortable bus ride, not too long at all. I want to say it was about 15 minutes, um, but certainly not completely out of the way where you spend most of the time on the bus instead of the actual activity. We had some great views along the way. Our tour guides were wonderful, pointed out stuff that we drove past on our way down. Um, and then of course we were given a uh, hands-on description of exactly what we needed to do uh, once we were going to pan for our own gold. And it was definitely uh, an experience. We had a lot of fun. I will say, there we go. I will say that because um, it is in the woods, as you can see, it was very fly-y. Um, we didn't have mosquitoes or anything, but there were tons of flies around. So just um, dress for the weather um, because it could be mosquito-y if it had been rainy and super muggy. Um, so just keep that in mind. But the experience itself was absolutely incredible. Once you were able to pick up your bowl of dirt, <laughs> basically, um, they showed you how to clean it off, move stuff around so that all your gold would stay in one specific area. And when you were all done, you could pipe it into your little jar uh, to take it home with you. That was our tour guides all uh, drying off or cooling down. It was such a hot day, but they were fantastic. So once we were done that, we headed out to the salmon bake. So like I said, there were multiple ways that you could get this. It was either uh, the second part of your excursion for the day, because it is a dinner thing, or you could just book it on its own. And that is the Alaska State Capitol building. Um... So yeah, these are just some of the sites that we saw, and here we are. You can't really tell, but they had some lights on as soon as we pulled in. It was absolutely beautiful. This is the official location of the Salmon Bake. I cannot say uh, anything bad about this. The food was amazing. The decor was incredible. There was even live music while we were eating, and she was wonderful. For anybody that doesn't like salmon, uh, as you can see, my husband does not, they also had ribs, and this is an all-you-can-eat meal with multiple sides. I had multiple salmon, um, but also ribs and uh, clam chowder if you wanted, and this here is a s'mores pit.
No, don't get me wrong. If it wasn't all you could eat salmon, which is my absolute favorite, uh, I would have had more than two marshmallows, but I stopped it too. I was really full. And these are just some of the sights we saw on the way back from the salmon bake. I highly recommend it, whether it's its own excursion or you're able to tack it on to something else. Wave. Yep. Private charter school bus. We had the bus to ourselves because people got off for Norwegian and then we had to continue on our way through to Carnival. You could see there that the Salmon Bake is one of the top five tours in Juneau and we absolutely understand why. And of course, while we were in town, we picked up all of our free gifts thanks to the little brochure that we get at all the ports. So next time you were in Juneau, make sure you hit up some of these places as well.